Alright guys, today I'm doing a review on uh, Devil Survivor 2. This was this was released near the end of the life cycle of the Nintendo DS, believe it or not. Um, I never actually got to play it, and some people may have missed out on this uh, gem as well. Okay, this So Devil Survivor is the Shin Megami Tensei series. Now, I've never played the original. I've only played this one, and it's actually really good. It has a lot of the... Um, it has a lot of the same type of uh, choices, and uh, but you don't really build social links like in Persona, okay? But you you do have choices, and you you actually it's more like the original Shin Megami Tensei, I guess, that because you have to you have to beat these demons so they would join you. So you don't actually just have them on hand. You have to beat them to actually uh, make you join your party. Now the story is pretty simple, straightforward. Um, you are well, a high school student, uh, but and uh, what happens is you are basically um, given this uh, phone that has this app that will actually uh, let you see into uh, almost like the future, and uh, so you can actually see it into the future and you can stop things from happening. That's basically the story. Now, like I said, it, this game came out near the end of the life cycle of the DS. Definitely a game that if you've never played it, definitely try it. Um, how would I rate this game? Well, uh, it's actually pretty good, so I give it about a good 8 out of 10. The only thing that really draws you back uh, is that, well, first of all, it's, uh, it's, it is a DS game. So, uh, you know, graphics-wise, you know, you, you can't really compare it to a 3DS game. Um, so you might not like it that in that sense because you know if if once you played or playing like uh, Persona 4 Golden on the Vita, you go to this, it doesn't look as good. You get a lot of pixels and things like that. Um, that's one of the drawbacks. Now, it's a classic. You don't play it. You don't play that type of game for that. You play it for the storyline, right? And the animation and the uh, the whole strategy um, uh, RPG game. So. Um, now, the other thing that I found that's a little bit off is that, um, like I said, the choices uh, the choices don't make a huge difference. That if you make one, you want to see what if it makes a difference in the storyline. It makes absolutely no difference um, that I played. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So, so those are things. Um, like I said, I give it about an eight out of ten. It's good. It's a good game. Like I said, if you like your DS and uh, you still have it, uh, definitely check check this out. Okay. So if you have any questions, comments, post them below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.